What's up, Ravens fans? One preseason game is in the books. The next one, Thursday night at home against the LA Rams. And lots of good questions coming into the mailbag this week. So let's go ahead and get started. The first question is from Camera Mike. And the question is, based on linebacker Kamalai Correa's strong performance in that Hall of Fame game, could that carry over into the regular season? Yeah, I think that it certainly could. Look, KC has all the talent. I mean, we're talking about a second round pick from a couple of years ago who really flashed at Boise State. I mean, this guy was a quarterback hunter there. Now he's back in his more natural position at outside linebacker, and I think that suits him well because KC was always a guy who was see ball, get ball, see quarterback, get quarterback. And that's a lot of what I saw from him in that preseason game. I mean, explosive first step, really good with his hand fighting. I mean, this guy is really athletic. I mean, he's freakishly athletic. Now, with that said, I think that KC still has some hurdles in front of him. He's got to continue to replicate that because I don't think that he's a lock right now to make the 53-man roster based on the competition at his position. I mean, you're talking about Zadarius Smith, Tim Williams, who also had a really good performance in the Hall of Fame game, Tyus Bowser, a second round pick from a year ago that the Ravens like a lot. And then you're, I mean, oh, you the, the way, starters. Yeah, yeah oh, the, the starters. Way, yeah. Terrell Suggs, Matthew Judon. I mean, there's a lot of talent on this Ravens roster at outside linebacker. So I think that KC is not going to get all the reps that he did when it comes to the regular season, and he's going to have to shine with more limited opportunities. He's going to have to build off of this. But you know what I liked from him? I liked instincts because that's something that we've been trying to see from him. I think over these first couple of years, it seemed like he was thinking a little bit too much yep. out there, trying to read everything that was coming his way. He just seemed to go out there and play naturally yep. in that game. And when he plays naturally and he's not kind of in his own head and trying to digest everything that's happening in front of him, you see that he can make plays, and I'm eager to see if he can build off that. Yeah, he's a heat-seeking missile right there. Yeah, exactly. Nice little rhyme. We got. All right. The next question, this one comes from AJ, and the question is, besides Kamala Correa, who looked the most impressive in the Hall of Fame game? Well, you mentioned Tim Williams. I liked what I saw from him. He didn't put up the numbers in terms of getting to the quarterback, but he was in the backfield a lot and created some havoc and, and, and got pressure. The other guy who I really liked is the rookie, the right tackle, Orlando Brown. He was out there for pretty much the entire game. This preseason is so important for him because the Ravens want to see, can this guy be our starting right tackle yep. going into the start of the season? And I think that the more I've seen from him, the more I think that he is going to win that job. He didn't give up any sacks or pressures. I liked the big guy out there on the right side. So those are two guys who really stood out to me. Yeah, I would agree with both those names. I would say on the offensive side of the ball, you saw a, a lot of good things from Robert Griffin. I thought the way he handled this offense, just moving it down the field, the way he moved around to kind of, you know, manipulate the defensive backs, I thought it was pretty impressive and he made a case for why he should stick around in Baltimore. And the only pick that he threw obviously was not his fault. Exactly. You, know, you can't, you can't, yeah. So, all right, the next question, this is the final one, comes from Chris Nelson. And the question is, should the Ravens be concerned with the lack of running back depth with none of the new guys standing out in that Hall of Fame game? I'm not really too worried about it right now. I think that you have Alex Collins, you have very reliable Buck Allen, and Kenneth Dixon is now back on the field after dealing with an injury early in training camp. So you have a pretty good trio right there. And I think the Ravens have maybe found something in terms of their undrafted free agents. Mark Thompson is a guy who stands out to me out of Florida. Big dude. I mean, this guy, he reminds me of kind of a bigger Lorenzo Taliaferro. And, and Lorenzo was a big dude. He was a big boy. Yeah, so I, I really think Mark Thompson has potential. Gus Edwards has flashed a little bit. Delance Turner. Out of those three guys, I think Baltimore has some options if they want to keep somebody on the practice squad just to have in case they need to bring somebody up. And I think we're all excited to see what Kenneth Dixon can do when he gets back yep. on the field for preseason games. He's out there on the field, but we want to see him stay healthy yep. during those games. So the next game, Thursday night against the Rams at home at M&T Bay Stadium. We can't wait for that. That's it for us. But as always, send in those questions every single week using the hashtag Ravens Mailbag. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your week.